in this video let us do a rough proof to show that the product of lcm and hcf of two numbers let's call those numbers a and b is equal to the product of those numbers so if we have two numbers a and b we take their lcm we take their hcf we multiply these two it will be the same as the multiplication or the product of the two numbers themselves a and b so for now let me call my hcf h and let me call my lcm l so this should be equal to a times b so this is what we need to prove now here let us start by talking about the hcf what is the hcf hcf is the highest common factor so it is a factor that is common to both a and b right so this means that h must divide a and h must also divide b let's look at an example for example 6 is a common factor of 12 and 42 this means that 6 divides 12 and 6 divides 42 12 divided by 6 gives me a number 2 and 42 divided by 6 also gives me another number 7 right so here as well we can say that a divided by h will give me some number let's call that number p and similarly b divided by h will also give me some number let's call that number q so in this example these numbers for us are 2 because 12 divided by 6 would give me 2 and 42 divided by 6 would give me 7 now here comes the interesting part because h is the highest common factor and not just any other common factor p and q here will be co primes in other words they will have no common factor other than 1 and we can see it from this example also here 2 and 7 are co primes there are no common factors between 2 and 7 imagine what would happen if 2 and 7 had a common factor what if it was not 2 and 7 but 2 and 8 for example in that case these two would have a common factor 2 and then 6 would not be the highest common factor in that case because then we have another factor here 2 which can be multiplied into 6 then the highest common factor would have become 12 but since we know that 6 is the highest common factor we know for sure that 2 and 7 will not have any other common factors or in other words they will be co primes so this is a property that we can use in a lot of places in our problems dealing with hcf and lcm so definitely understand this as this is an important one now coming back to the problem at hand we have a is equal to p times h and b is equal to q times h let us now try to find the lcm of a and b okay let us try to find this again here i would like to take an example to make it very clear so let's say p is again 2 and h is let's say 6 and b is 7 and h is again 6 so let's say these are the two numbers whose lcm we need to find lowest common multiple so the lcm in this case needs to be a multiple of the first number so we will have 2 into 6 but it also needs to be a multiple of the second number but since we already have 6 here we can just multiply it with the 7 so we have the first number here 2 into 6 and the second number here 6 into 7 and this is the lowest common multiple of course we can multiply it by any higher number and that will still be a multiple but this is the lowest common multiple similarly here can you tell me what will be the lcm of these two numbers pause the video and try it yourself first so hopefully you have tried it p into h into q right very similar to what we did here since we need a common multiple of a and b we need a multiple of p into h but we also need a multiple of q into h we already had h so we simply multiply it with q p h q this is the lcm of a and b now we are ready to prove our property we have the lcm we have the hcf what was our hcf <laughs> the hcf was h right that is what we assumed that hcf is equal to h so if we multiply the two lcm times hcf what do we get we get p 
times q times h square all right and what about our two numbers a and b what do we get when we multiply them a times b a is p into h so p into h and b is q times h so this will be q times h <laughs> but the product of these two will be p q h square the same p q and h square so we have the same products this means that 1 is equal to 2 or lcm into hcf is equal to a into b